This is Chicago's very own Midday News. And I'm Steve Sanders. Coming up on the Midday Still to come, the last drive-in with car hops. It is another of Chicago's very own. Still to come. Well, a Chicago tradition where the dining room table is the front seat of your car. Jim Williams takes us to another of Chicago's very own. It looks like something out of the 1950s. Car hops carrying hot dogs, hamburgers, and milkshakes to hungry customers eager to devour these goodies in the front seats of their cars. This is Superdog on Milwaukee Avenue near Devon, the last drive-in restaurant with car hops in Chicago. Don't confuse Superdog with the drive-through fast food restaurant so common now. At Superdog, you drive into a large lot, place your order in one of several intercoms, and the food is brought to you by waitresses. May I have a super dog with onions and mustard only, a small Coke, a small order of fries, and a chocolate shake, please. You could have raw onions or grilled. Grilled onions, please. Would you like a piece of pickle? Uh, that would be fine on the side, please. Okay. Instead of bringing the people to the food, we brought the food to the people. Owner Maury Berman and his car hops have been bringing it to the people for 41 years. You see, Superdog is not the recent creation of some entrepreneur out to recreate the 1950s. Superdog is the real thing. Now, while Superdog is the last drive-in, it's also had its share first. Superdog was the first restaurant in Chicago to use the intercom. That was back in 1954. Before then, the drivers would pull up and they would turn on their lights to indicate they wanted service. Headlights gave way to a system that now includes a multi-button board inside the restaurant, often operated by Maury's wife, Florence. The customer has to first, uh, uh, by pushing the button at the post, he, he signals that board, which lights up, rings with a chime, and also gives us the location of where he's parked on the lot. Countless orders have been placed in these intercoms over the last four decades. Superdog has tradition going for it. This was all we could afford at one time. It was a big deal going out to dinner here. Some 30 years ago, we brought our children here. We have a boy and a girl. Now we're bringing a grandchild here. I've been coming here since I've been a kid, and for some reason, whenever I go for a hot dog, this is it. But tradition alone wouldn't continue to bring customers back. It's also the food. It's got to taste all its own. The shakes are marvelous. The hot dogs are great. French fries are great. You don't have to drive to get served at Superdog. The Bermans also have a carryout window, and you might find their daughter Lisa working behind the counter. Family, tradition, and good food, all essential to the Superdog fans who say they come here two and three times a week. We've developed a great deal of loyalty, great deal of devotion, and... Uh, we just keep trying. Superdog, the Windy City's last drive-in with car hops and one of Chicago's very own.